What's up, people? It's King Dub the Seventh, and what you just saw right there, that is Darwin Project, made by Scavenger Studios. And boy, do you have to scavenge in this game. You have to really be on your P's and Q's, pay attention to your surroundings, look up, right, left, down, wherever you want to look. Make sure you aren't getting bodied like that dude who I just bodied there. So let me break down what just happened. I found the dude. He was in the shed. I took out my axe, or it's actually, you're, you, you're supposed to start with an axe, but I actually have a shovel, because a shovel, like, beating somebody up with a shovel is just cool, right? Who doesn't want to beat someone up with a shovel? That's just the epitome of I'm better than you are. I beat him up with my shovel. He tries to get away, and some the game tries to help him by sending us both just flying apart from each other. And I'm looking like, oh, man, he get away? I gotta get to him. I gotta get this kill. Luckily, I find his blood and I find his footprints. I use that to track him hiding inside of a tree. He gets some a couple of good hits on me, but I was just too good. I already I got the jump on him on the start. His health was low. Only took one more hit. It was GG. So that is what Darwin Project is. It is a battle royale survival game. It's a battle royale game, just like Fortnite, just like H1Z1, just like playing on Battleground. But it adds that survival aspect and the fact that you have to not only survive from the enemies that you're going up against, but you also have to survive the environment and the fact that you can freeze to death if you're not paying attention. That's why there's a looting system and a crafting system. You can craft yourself leather jackets to keep yourself warm. So you can make fires. And there are a bunch of other treats in the game. But let me show you guys some more gameplay. Let's not just talk about it. Let's see what's going on, right? So, as I said before, I'm looting this guy's body. I'm taking all of the rewards that I can possibly get from this uh, win that I just got. Now, Darn Project is a very interesting game. And the fact that in other Battle Royale games, I don't think you could possibly possibly trace the steps of people like you can on Project Darwin. As you can see there, I'm just trying to craft and get everything that I need for future battles. And I even find, so you know how in other Battle Royale games where you have your crates that drop from the sky? In uh, Darwin Project, there's actually technology that drops. And I am luckily the one who gets at this technology and what you can make from the technology is you can make a shield that makes you invincible for a little bit, which is what I made because of my playstyle. You can make invisibility and you can make a teleporter. Now the reason I make the shield is my whole game plan was to have a really strong axe because I can't really aim the bow and arrow right now. Those are the only weapons I play with, the axe and bow and arrow. I can't really aim the bow and arrow. And I may, and I have my shield, so I can just run up on people and just beat them. This that I just found, I think there's one in every cabin in different zones. Now the zones are very interesting. I don't know 100% about them yet. But what I do right here is pretty cool. Now the reason why I knew to sit in that corner, that circle thing that I just saw, it's something that shows me where everyone is on the map. Now I see that there's somebody coming to my location, so I'm figured, oh, he's gonna definitely want to come in this to this cabin because he's gonna want to loot. So all I have to do is I have to sit in the corner and just wait there and hope that he just doesn't come to the front door. As you can see, I got the jump on him. He almost gets me, but thanks to my shield, I was able to nullify some of the damage that he's trying to put up. We have a little clash right there that I think is pretty cool. I'm just sitting there trying to dodge his arrows. And then I get that last hit, and it's just a GG for him, man. You have to really know what playstyle you want to do. And you got to get those kills and get that loot. With every kill, also, you get a health raise. I think that's the only way to get your health. Something funny happens to me, actually. I think it's going to be coming up soon. So, yep, it's right here. So, while I'm tracking someone, you can actually see the red dot on the screen of who I'm tracking. But I try to kill this deer so I can get some deer meat and eat and raise my health. But it just doesn't work that way, I guess. So I'm like, alright, forget it. I'm just going to continue to track this guy. 
I see the flames from his fire going up in the air. So I'm just sitting here, I'm just trying to track him. I'm like, I know from a hint before because something interesting in Project Darwin is when you track people, you can see how much health they have when you get clues from things that they've looted. Because you can track people from things that they've looted. So I know he has more health than me, so I'm just trying to track him from far away. I try to go and track his fire because I lost sight of him and I end up walking to a bear trap that he sets. And then he gets killed by a group of uh, people that actually, I think that they had a uh, truce. Because you can actually do that in this game, you can have a form of truce. So I see these two and I'm like, I'm gonna die anyway, I'm gonna try to go out with a bang. And I die from just one hit, you can hear my anguish cry. I just wasn't good enough. I didn't even use my shield. I could have played that a lot better, but I played it pretty sloppily. And I deserve to die there. But, Project Darwin is a very fun game. It's in alpha right now. It's by no means perfect, but it's super good. It's super fun. I can definitely see the upside in this game. I definitely think people should try it out when it comes out. I'm going to continue to play this, make videos. But for right now, it's King Delta 7.